While fully electric vehicles are still few and far between, the number of compelling options is growing. A few still don't offer enough range to be practical for some people, though many have well over 200 miles of range, and some have over 300. Electric vehicles, EVs, are more expensive than gas-powered cars, mostly due to expensive batteries and smaller production efforts. As the cost of batteries comes down and automakers begin making EVs in larger quantities, prices should drop to reach parity with traditional cars. Let's begin with number 10. Number 10. Aspark Owl, expected. 2021. Japan's first hypercar is finally here. The 1,480 kW all-electric Aspark Owl is ready to take off. The Owl is an electric hypercar from Japanese company Aspark. A run of 50 vehicles is planned, with prices starting at around £2.5 million. Yes, the Owl has a head-turning price. Aspark is looking to start 2021 off with a bang. After spending much of the last four years teasing its all-electric supercar, the Owl, the Japanese company has finally opened up the order books for the groundbreaking EV. Thanks to that engine config, the Owl, which Aspark has teased as the world's fastest accelerating car, can rocket from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.72 seconds and reach a top speed of 249 miles per hour. If all that wasn't impressive enough, the car's 64 kWh lithium-ion battery pack also means it has a solid 249-mile range. The range is a claimed 280 miles, but we have to wonder just how gently the owl needs to be driven to make its small battery go that far on a single charge. We suspect the slippery body and a roofline lower than a Ford GT40 may have something to do with it. Price. 2.5 million pounds. Number 9. Audi A6 e-tron, expected. 2022. With no official sightings of the Audi Q6 e-tron just yet, this fresh render is the clearest idea so far of what the electric SUV could look like. Expect a huge, blanked-off body-colored grille to be the centerpiece of its design, just like the Q4 e-tron and e-tron GT, with thin LED headlights placed up top. Large intakes will sit below those two, with a host of black accents around the car. The Audi Q6 e Tron would likely share the 100 kWh battery from the upcoming A6 e Tron Saloon, which will go on sale after this new SUV in 2023. The Audi Q6 e Tron will likely use an interior similar to the Q4 e Tron, albeit with a bit more space and a few more luxurious touches as a result of its higher price tag it to cost from around £60,000. Number 8. BMW i4, expected, late 2021. BMW i4 design the final i4 stays true to the design of last year's production previewing concept and is clearly visually related to the combustion engine 4 series. The upcoming 4 series Grand Coupe will be largely identical to the exclusively 4-door i4. BMW i4 performance and range precise technical specs remain under wraps, but we know the range topping model, likely badged i4M, will send up to 530 horsepower to both axles and offer a range of 590 km on the WLTP cycle. A 0 to 100 km per hour time of around 4.0 seconds and a top speed of more than 200 km per hour is likely. BMW i4 platform The i4 is based on a modified version of the Klar platform, which underpins the current 3 series and 4 series, accommodating battery packs of up to 80 kWh capacity. An entry-level rear-wheel drive variant with a smaller battery will also be available, as is the case with the larger X. BMW i4 Infotainment The i4 will use BMW's new 8th generation iDrive operating system shared with the X flagship, which allows for over-the-air updates and greatly reduces the number of physical controls in the cabin, although it retains the characteristic rotary knob that has been used for every iteration of iDrive since it was introduced 20 years ago. Price $45,000. Number 7. Byte in M Byte Concept. Byte in wants you to think of its new M Byte electric crossover as the world's first smart device on wheels. 
It's a corny tagline inspired by tons of research indicating that customers are starting to value connectivity over the traditional automotive characteristics we hear at Motor Trend hold dear. It's also why this story, ostensibly about a new car, the M Byte, will read a bit like coverage of a new smartphone or something. The brand new factory in Nanjing, China that will produce the M Byte has been completed, and deliveries will begin in China this year with sales in the EU and North America beginning in 2021. A partner company has been identified in Korea that will build complete knockdown kits for Korean consumption and possible export to countries that impose tariffs on Chinese cars. Expect the K Byte sedan to enter production 18 months behind the M Byte. Biden expects demand to be split evenly between China, the EU, and North America and claims to have 21,000 pre-orders in the EU, of 60,000 total global reservations. We eagerly look forward to testing its upload and download speeds along with its 0 to 60, quarter mile, and figure 8 performance. Number 6. Canoe Van, expected, late 2021. Canoe is an electric automaker startup with a reputation for producing cars with a unique aesthetic. Canon says the electric pickup will feature up to 600 horsepower and a battery range of more than 200 miles. That range falls short of some other electric pickups likely to hit the market in the next year or two, including Tesla's Cybertruck, with a range of 250 miles to more than 500 miles, depending on the version, in 2022. Canoe said in a statement that the company designed the vehicle to be the most cab forward and space efficient on the market, with massive cargo capacity on the smallest footprint possible. The flat front design, which is similar to a van, basically puts the driver almost on top of the truck's front wheels, allowing for more storage space in the cab and the rear cargo bed. The electric pickup also features a front cargo storage area that, Canoe says, can hold tools or gear also includes a fold-down worktable with electrical outlets. And the six-foot-long rear cargo bed has an overall payload capacity of 1,800 pounds, while also featuring a pull-out extension that reaches 8 feet in overall length. Price subscription only, based on $35,000 to $50,000 estimated pricing. Number 5. Faraday Future FF91. Chinese electric car startup Faraday Future believes its days as the automotive industry's bad students are nearly over. Company CEO Karsten Breitfeld led a duo of close-to-production FF91 prototypes from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to attend CES 2020, where he mapped out the company's future with a crucial dose of realism that escaped his predecessors. Faraday Future also says that its FF91 flagship, originally given a grand introduction at CES in January 2017, will be targeted to launch within 12 months of the closing of the merger. The specs for the FF91, including its 1,050 horsepower and 2.4 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour time, are now less of a standout among a crowd of EV startups with similar claims. Yet the FF91 is a standout for styling even today. Faraday promises zero gravity seats with spa mode and an interior that is refined in 2019 around the concept of the third internet living space. The company claims to incorporate AI such that the car can respond individually to occupants in each seat, recognizing their voice. Pricing will range between $120,000 and upwards of $200,000. Number 4. Genesis Essentia, expected, late 2022. When Genesis transitioned from a luxury model under Hyundai to its own luxury mark, just two sedans composed the entire lineup. Now, three sedans exist, G70, G80, and G90, in order of smallest to largest, and Genesis promises two SUV models based on sedan counterparts. The 2021 Genesis GV80 will be the mark's first crossover offering, Built to provide an alternative luxury midsize sport ute against segment heavyweights BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE. We first saw the GV80 crossover concept, as seen above, at the 2017 New York Auto Show in hydrogen fuel cell form, but when the three-row SUV arrives in showrooms in 2020, we expect to see traditional engines only. That said, it won't be available with the brand's current Tau 5.0 liter V8 engine, which will be phased out soon in the G80 sedan, as well. 
Going forward, the G80 GV80 will top out with the 365 HP 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, but it could well be we'll see a significant evolution of that engine, possibly with increased displacement and or power for the GV80's launch. Base price: GV70 $40,000, Est GV80 $55,000, Est Ascentia $100,000, Est. Number 3 Lagonda All Terrain, expected, late 2022. Aston Martin has relaunched the Lagonda's name as an all electric luxury brand for the upper crust. The new concept, which our sister publication Autocar UK received exclusive access to ahead of the Geneva show, is the second Lagonda concept after the Vision Concept sedan at last year's Geneva show. It previews a new Lagonda SUV that will go into production in St. Athan, Wales, in 2022. The two Lagonda concepts also share their suspension systems with the upcoming DBX SUV, which will also be built at St. Athan from early next year as Ashton's first SUV. To that end, Palmer describes Aston as ultimately making seven models from three Meccano sets. That means close relationships between the front engine DB11, Vantage and DBS Superleggera, the DBX, Lagonda SUV, and Lagonda Saloon and then the Vanquish and any other mid-engine specials Aston makes on top of its core range of seven models. Number 2. Pininfarina Batista, expected, late 2021. Automobili Pininfarina has unveiled the ultimate expression of the world's first luxury pure electric hyper GT, the Batista Aniversario. The Batista Aniversario celebrates 90 years since Batista Pininfarina created the legendary Pininfarina coach builder and design house, and is the most powerful sports car ever to be designed and built in Italy. Battista Aniversario cars will be handcrafted in Cambiano, Turin, where Pininfarina has established its design center and headquarters. Just five will be created, each priced from 2.6 million euros, making the Battista Aniversario one of the world's most exclusive automobiles. The Battista Aniversario delivers an added level of dynamic ability and a bespoke heritage-inspired anniversary livery. Each of the five Aniversario cars is finished in a combination of three signature colors, Bianco Sestriere, the never-seen-before Grigio Antonelliano, and Automobili Pininfarina's signature Iconica Blue. Skilled artisans in Cambiano take several weeks to paint each car, building up the finish layer by layer and color by color, all by hand. The body is disassembled and reassembled three times so pinstripes in the three separate colors can be hand-painted directly onto the body. Number 1. Tesla Roadster, expected. 2022. Tesla Roadster 2022 could be the craziest Tesla to date, thanks to its bonkers performance. The eagerly awaited Tesla Roadster 2022, now set for release in 2022, will feature the company's Plaid 3 electric motor powertrain design when it finally comes into production, promising awesome performance as a result. Tesla Roadster 2022, release date and pricing. Production of the Tesla Roadster 2022 is set to begin in 2022, with the base model expected to be in the region of $200,000. Buyers will be required to put down a payment of $50,000 to reserve their car. Tesla also has plans for a Founders Series model, with only 1,000 being produced, which will come with a price tag of $250,000. Tesla Roadster 2022. Range, battery, and performance The Tesla Roadster 2022 will feature a 200 kWh battery pack that, according to the U.S. manufacturer, will have the potential to offer around 620 miles of range. However, anyone tapping into the formidable performance potential of the car is unlikely to get anything near that. The power pack will drive three electric motors, one in the front, two in the rear, which will deliver 10,000 newton meters, 7,400 pound feet of torque and enable it to launch from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. 